everybody welcome back so the last video was a first experience for me one which i can learn tons of lessons from part of this assignment is viewing our colleagues videos and absorbing some of the best practices that they are sharing so my last video was a challenge to make uh, the TED talk was difficult to understand and so I did focus a little bit more on what I could be able to do as far as editing and just gauging my ability uh, since this is a first time experience for me creating vlogs. For this second video I definitely do want to focus more on relaying some of the well, takeaways we can get from this TED talk and developing some best practices that can be used in the classroom. This TED talk by Laura Bushnik. She's a Kuwaitian-born Palestinian photographer whose work focuses on women, education reform, and literacy in the Arab world. She highlights that in some parts of the world, nearly half of women lack basic reading and writing skills. And though the reasons vary, much of this is because fathers, husbands, and even mothers sometimes don't support this learning. The Arab states are going through tremendous change, and the struggles women face are overwhelming. Just like the women I photographed, I had to overcome many barriers to becoming the photographer I am today. Many people along the way telling me what I can and cannot do. Well, Laura Bushnik acknowledges her approach as being collaborative and reflexive. I asked them to write their own words and ideas on prints of their own images. Seeking a collaborative and reflexive approach, those images were then shared in some of their classrooms and worked to inspire and motivate other women going through similar educations and situation. She mentions that it's not always easy to convince the women to participate. How their stories might influence others and break barriers was one of her ways of getting women to open up about their experiences. As I started this work, it was not always easy to convince the women to participate. Only after explaining to them how their stories might influence other women's lives, how they would become role models for their own community, did some agree. Laura Bushnick's I Read, I Write project only way to control her life was through education. 